Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find encouragement than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Pick up your copy of God's Word, if you will. Turn with me over to John's Gospel, chapter number 6. Today we'll be looking at verse number 66 as our text verse of Scripture. Get that good, fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, goodness. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a new day than Jesus and good hot coffee. You notice the order there. Jesus first and a good cup of hot coffee. Well, friend, over the book of John, John's Gospel, chapter number 6, looking at verse 66, the Bible says here, from that time, many of his, our Lord's disciples, went back and walked no more with him. And friend, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his holy and divine word. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that I've titled, The Real Reason to follow Jesus. Now, my friend, as we think about that particular title, in the beginning of our Lord's ministry, many people followed him as he preached, as he ministered, and as he performed and did many miracles. But as the cross neared, as the time for his dying began to appear before their very eyes, only a very few people remained by his side. In fact, most of the people returned to their everyday routines because they had sought him for their own reasons. They sought him for healing. They sought him for provision. They sought him for deliverance from Roman oppression. Of course, Jesus did cure many illnesses, but the real healing was achieved on the cross of Calvary. You see, Jesus did feed the hungry, but his ultimate purpose was not to satisfy, my friend, our physical hunger, his ultimate purpose was to satisfy our spiritual hunger, our spiritual thirst. Uh, Jesus did not come to deliver us from Satan's grip. Rather, he came uh, to lead us from earthly authority. We need to make sure that we are following Jesus today, not just for his blessings uh, but because he is God who truly knows what we need. Because there will come a time when there will be no visible sign of blessing, when every comfort may be removed and every tribulation may come because of our faith in him. Uh, I think about pastors that uh, pastor small churches. You know, many times whenever we have uh, these big evangelical conferences, evangelism conferences, they bring in those speakers uh, that uh, have uh, many, many people in their churches. I heard Junior Hill preach one time, and Junior said, I think we ought to bring in one of them fellas that said, you know, when I got here, I had 100, but just overnight, we fell to 30. My friend, sometimes we go through troubled times. People can't be happy where they are. And so people begin to move and people begin to do things that's just not pleasing uh, to the pastor. But, uh, you know, everybody has to follow their own heart. But listen to me. 
if you followed the Lord Jesus Christ for any other reason than because he is the promised Messiah, my friend, I want you to know that you will be sorely disappointed. He is the Lord and the King of all creation, and he's worthy of our love, he's worthy of our respect, and he's worthy of our devotion. That is what will sustain you when difficulties arise. My friend, it's easy to serve a Jesus who cures illness. It's easy to serve a Jesus who uh, can uh, take five loaves and two fish and feed 5,000. It's easy to serve a Jesus who can uh, deliver from oppression. But is it easy to serve a Jesus who died on the cross? Friend, that's why he came. He didn't just come to feed the physical, but he came to save so that we could be spiritual. So that's the real reason to follow Jesus. Not because he's the miracle working Jesus, but because he's the Jesus, the giver and sustainer of everlasting life. And that began at the cross. Now I'm going to say this. Listen to me. He died there, but he didn't stay dead. He arose from the dead. He's alive. And friend, because he lives, we too can live. The real reason for following Jesus is because he is the giver of everlasting life. And we love him, but we love him because he first loved us. For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son that if you would but believe in him, you should have everlasting and eternal life. Follow him for the right reason. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much for this beautiful devotion. It reminds us that while you may be a God who can heal our physical bodies, you are a God who can make provision for our physical being. You're a God of deliverance. You are all those things. But God, more important than that, you are a God who provides for us a spiritual awakening, and you promise us an eternal home if we will follow you for the right reasons. Now, in your day of walking this old earth, you made a statement about you being the bread, and you talked about eating the body and drinking the fruit of the vine, which represented the blood of the Lamb. And for that reason, many walked away and followed you no more. Thank you for that spiritual bread that came down from heaven to feed our soul. And thank you for the shed blood of the Lamb of God that washes away our sin. May we take it and follow you so that you can make us into what we ought to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray that you follow Jesus for the right reasons and that uh, he is Lord of your life. And remember that your life is the only Bible some may ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in what you say and in what you do. God bless you and you have a wonderful day.